Hey, 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 Simmers. How are we doing today? It is April 26th. Derek Sims back with another build. And this is a very complicated looking shell challenge from Hip Hip Renee on Twitter. It is a very quick challenge because it's due literally this week. She posted it just two days ago, back on the 24th, Friday. And yeah, it's already going to be due, literally due this week on May 1st. So that's just great. And honestly, I'm up for a shell challenge, especially when it's challenging. I didn't think it'd be this challenging. As you can see, I'm tackling the worst part of this build first. And that is what the heck I'm going to do with this half wall. So for those who still don't know what a shell challenge is, a shell challenge is where we cannot edit any current walls, floors, or ceilings, but we can add anything to the wall. The lot. Like we can add walls, but we cannot take away or change the walls that are already placed. So I can't get rid of that half wall she placed, which is very disheartening because <laughs> I don't know what the heck I have to do with that. Um, so I'm improvising and also we can't use CC, which is custom content. We can't use that for this challenge, which is kind of a bummer. So I with my BB Move Objects cheat. Um, <laughs> trying to see what works. I'm thinking like a little glass room. I put another half wall on the outside, just that way it can be kind of enclosed and then add the windows because it just, it, it just looks right. I'm just trying to find the right window. I think I might do that as long as it fits because from what I've seen on the gallery so far of the submitted entries, there's not many with a second floor. And I think for my build, I want to accomplish a second floor. So that'll be fun, right? <laughs> Still trying to figure out where I want to put the stairs. What I have so many ideas for this build, but once I saw that weird half wall, that went flying out the window. I had a, literally this is just on a whim. Like everything you see me build is on a whim. You know, minus the second floor. Cause I knew I wanted to do the second floor, but everything else, it, it, it's on a whim. I just didn't know how I wanted to do it. <laughs> So I hope I'm doing this right. I hope that in the end, this house will come out perfect, just the way I hope it would in the first place, but it kind of just went down the toilet as soon as that half wall appeared. I was not expecting that. That was a twist. I can't get over talking about it, I know. But what can I say? I was just thrown off. <laughs> I think what I want to do is, I was going to make that like a pantry kind of closet room, but we can't use CC, so I'm not going to do that. So instead, I think that's going to be where the little dining room is. But like in a Four Seasons room, you know, like it's all glass window wall, thanks to BB Move Objects. But, you know, just put a little table and chairs in there, a plant or two. <laughs> And that can be the dining room in a little three season, four season room, which ain't bad. It really ain't. So once we got that part of the room figured out, we went ahead and started building the rest of how I wanted the rooms to be. Bathroom, closet, bedroom, everything. And for this, I'm really thankful that that closet you just saw me put down is not custom content because girl, we needed a big closet. That's gonna be a big master suite and a big master bathroom. I wanted to have a big master closet because girl, <laughs> I feel delirious because it is 1.30 in the morning at the time of recording this voiceover. Um, God, I don't know what to say. 
I think it's as funny as trying to figure out what couch I want to put down because I knew that I wanted a window seat. I don't know how to make an actual window seat, but at least putting a couch in front of the window, I can kind of call it a window seat, which I like. The one thing I don't like is trying to put little objects like a plant or like a trophy or something on top of the fireplace. Like, you see, look how tall that is over the fireplace. Even with BB Move Objects, and I move the fireplace out, put the plant where it should be, and then put it back, it just, it's still up in the air. I don't get it. So maybe we should try a shelf. But that just looks bad. I mean, it actually looked good, but at the same time it looked bad. And then, <laughs> as you can tell, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Like, I, I really don't know what I am doing at this point. Like, that just looks tacky. And then to have the plant higher up from the shelf? That's worse, so. <laughs> so anyway, back to the kitchen. We're placing all the furniture, and remember how I said a little bit ago I wanted that glass room to be like a pantry kind of thing? I'm thinking of doing that still, but with that wall I have, where the fridge currently is. Like, I don't know. I'm still thinking. I'm trying to figure out how I want this done. Because I want a big pantry. Because it's a small kitchen, yes, but it's going to have a lot of cabinet space. Like, I think that wall where the fireplace and the TV is for the living room is where I'm going to put the pantry. Should I put the fridge there too? Let's, let's try and build this pantry and see what we get. Yeah, that don't look too bad. I hate how it sticks out. Mm, can we go bigger? The cool thing about BB Move Objects is you can literally make cabinets like that happen and it looks right. As you can tell, I'm struggling for like a hot second trying to get the <laughs> trying to get corner pieces to appear where you can see the dishes. Why can't that happen to me? There we go. Okay, that looks right. But the fridge kind of feels out of place. So. I might move the fridge out in a little minute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move the fridge out in a minute. Right now I just kinda wanna get this cozy kitchen setting and just get it ready. Wait a minute. Oh snap, I just, <laughs> oh no, okay. I'm going to be roasted on this, I think, really badly. I wish I could go back now and redo it, but I can't. It's already uploaded in the gallery. It's 1.30 in the morning. I'm doing voiceover. It's it's done. It's over with. Um, I did not include a refrigerator. I deleted it and I forgot to put it back in. God dang, I am an idiot. <laughs> Hashtag refrigerate my life. Um, let's not do that. But for real, I cannot believe I'm looking back and I'm thinking back to when I did this build earlier this earlier yesterday afternoon. I forgot to put a refrigerator back in the kitchen. We have a kitchen with no fridge. What am I doing? God, I can't believe I did that. The one thing I really wish I can't believe I did is the fact that I'm able to get these little cute accessories in the kitchen, like the little tea bag, cake cup counter thing, and the coffee maker, the tea maker, whatever you want to call it, because I like it. It, it, it ties the room together a little bit. So I think now with that being done, we should focus on this dining room that I want it to be. There's no way that's gonna fit. It has to be a square table. It's gotta be a square table for it to fit. Why aren't the chairs fitting? Okay, we're 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 gonna play with we're gonna play with move objects for a second. There. I hope they can get in the table. 
because I am not changing it again. It, it's just it's just too much work. Out of planner two. There we go. See now that looks really pretty. Uh, do I want to put something on the table? That looks pretty, but I'm having a janky time with that, so I think I might just leave it. Yeah, I'll leave it. I still can't believe I forgot the goddamn fridge. <laughs> Every time I see the kitchen now, I think of the fact I forgot to put a refrigerator back in the game. <laughs> I'm probably going to lose some style points for that. Um, honey, please. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna get roasted on that one. Don't cancel me, please, but I. We have our moments. You know, we have our moments where we forget one little touch here and there. You know? So, unlike my last build video, I know for sure to do one set of coat hooks and one set of shoe racks. Or is it coat rack? Yeah, it's coat rack. Coat rack and shoe rack. Instead of, you know, two and four, which that was a lot. And I think it actually looks pretty good there, just as it is. I'm glad I decided on one. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done. So now we're just adding a few little nitty gritty touches. I gotta remember though, before this video is done, to put a god dang doormat in the front entry. Not in the inside, but the outside. Like you saw how I did at the sink. I always forget to add a god dang doormat to the entrance. I just, I, I gotta remember to do it. <laughs> now I thought about putting windows there on that little rooflet that we have, but I think I'm gonna put a roof part there. So I'm just gonna put the windows on the other side. Cause I thought about, you know, with the shower being there, I thought about doing just a tub and not a shower, but I'm gonna do a combo. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna have a double vanity sink with some natural lighting. Looking out the windows, it'll be really pretty at night. I'm very certain of it. But like, one thing I wish I did now that I'm thinking about it is in addition to having that closet, I should have done a laundry room. I should have done a laundry room. I didn't think of it. What was I thinking? Literally, what was I thinking? I I don't remember to put a refrigerator back in the kitchen. I did a glass wall window thinamabobber for the dining room. What the heck you want to call it? And now I forget to do a laundry room. I'm a mess. I am a mess. But please, please love me regardless. I love you all so much, but please love me regardless because I forget so much. <laughs> oh, this is not turning out well, I don't think. But I like how the furniture is tying the rooms together. I can at least give that much credit. Yay. <laughs> oh, that is giant. So I think... Even though they kind of dip into the fireplace a little bit, I kind of want like one or two toppers on top of the fireplace. Like we got those three sets of pots, but I'm thinking maybe a cute little teddy bear gift just because it looks cute. Don't get me wrong. It looks cute. Maybe it doesn't belong there, but in my opinion, I think it does. So tough. With my vision, we're going with it. But the one thing I kind of want to add and I'm, I, like I said, I keep forgetting and I'm just now remembering while I'm doing my voiceover is an office. I didn't put a room for an office. I didn't put a room for a laundry room. I forget the god dang fridge. And I'm about out of space with no space. And I can't put it on the deck, obviously. So we're just going to put it behind my master bedroom TV and fireplace. <laughs> That's the only place I can think of it, so it works, right? Right? Hey. Hmm. I don't know, 
there's lots of art options I want to do, but with like literally that two section wall, there's not much space. That guitar thing's kind of cool, but I kind of want it to be like, you know, personally what I would want behind. Like, I definitely want clouds and balloons. I think that's pretty. I want a picture of a cute dog because why not? Dogs are everything, especially border collies. Love ya. Shout out to my best friend's dog, Jake. Best border collie in the world. Help me overcome my fear of dogs, which, yay. <laughs> um, anyway, we remember the doormat Hallelujah. This is literally the first video, the first build I think I've ever done where I did a doormat. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, but I truly think this was the first time in any of my house builds that I have done a doormat. It's been long overdue. We've been known to be forgetful. Seriously. Now this roof, I'm not liking how it's not meshing together, you know? What I really don't know. <laughs> what I really don't like is how jank it is with how I put... Why, why did I do that? Why did I have to have that little area on a diagonal with wall-to-wall -wall corners? I Sometimes I don't know what the heck I'm doing. This was one of those moments. <laughs> oh, no. That looks so bad. I don't know why I thought of that. I thought there wouldn't be an issue if I did the patio like that. But man, what the heck was I doing? <laughs> oh, at least I can't jack up the walls, right? Like I can't, I can't goof up how I want the outside to look. Like that, that looks really good. Not gonna lie, I thought that was sand, but it's brick. Well, wood. Is that wood? Yeah, it's wood. But that looks natural. And apparently what on the inside master bedroom. Honestly, I want an accent wall and I could have done the outside wall on the inside there, but I didn't. I want it to be nice and dark and have a tone of that accent wall. And since the accent wall is like, you know, black and gray, I wanted a dark blue wall. I think it works, right? And the bathroom would be a light blue. Now that I'm thinking of it, I'm wondering if I did the carpeting. I don't remember if I did the carpeting or not. Did I change the carpet? Did I add flooring? Did I add tile? Did, did I change any of the floors in my house? I can't remember if I did or not. I know we did the walls, that's for sure. I'm indecisive as you can tell by the color, but now that I'm thinking about it, did I do the flooring? If I didn't do the flooring, I'm gonna be really upset because that, that, oh God. You know what? I'm just gonna make a list. I'm, in the description below, you are going to see a list of everything I forgot to do in this video. It, yeah, even the simplest of things. God. At least one thing that I didn't forget is the landscaping. I didn't want to overdo it but I'm gonna put a backyard in and I didn't want the gardening to go all around the house. I just wanted it to be up front because I'm gonna do those hedge fences, like privacy hedge fences for the backyard. Maybe put one or two, maybe three trees in there. And I just wanted the flowers to be a focal point in the front yard. I think it looks pretty that way. Oh, that's a little up. There we go. Yeah, we're adding the dirt for the trees. I'm just putting them in random places around the lot. That's not bad. I thought about adding flowers or rocks below it, but I kind of just want to leave it as dirt. I might play with the terrain tools later on. 
Not 100% because I've never been good with doing terrain. Like I always jack it up somehow. I, I just don't know how to do terrain tools. So for now, let's just build this backyard and go from there, you know? So we are gonna have three trees in the backyard. One's really close to the deck, but you know, here's where the terrain comes in. We'll do it to every tree. Oh, that, that, oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, we're gonna start over with the terrain. That, that just looks bad. Yeah, as you can tell, I've never done terrain tools before, really. So, that looks bad. <laughs> I'm literally raising each area of the tree where they're at from normal height because, you know, tree trunks are big underground with the roots and everything. So, especially with that swatch of dirt that they're at, you know, the brown dirt swatch. I kind of want to just keep it there. So, I think that's a good height where I left it. But I think it's really weird is where I put the lights on the front door. That looks weird. Patio looks better. But, with the backyard, we need to add some lights because I imagine if there's going to be kids visiting or anything someday, or I have kids someday on here, we're going to need a backyard that they can play in. Like, obviously, we're going to need a little picnic area in the back. We have a grill. Why can't we have a picnic area? Ooh. What if we had a bonfire? Where are we going to put a bonfire in the backyard? I'm thinking of a bonfire because we can grill hot dogs. Oh, wait. That defeats the purpose of a bonfire if we grill hot dogs, right? Because you can roast hot dogs on a stick. Oh, well. We're, we're gonna add a bonfire anyway, because we can roast marshmallows and s'more, make s'mores. Personally, I've never had a s'more, but you know, it looks fun to make. I just personally wouldn't eat it. <laughs> oh my God. And I think, no, we don't got enough room for a pool. I don't wanna add a hot tub because I wanna add a pool instead, but I think we're just gonna leave it. That's too many wind chimes. Whoa! What the heck did I just do? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I just know it's the end of the video and this build is pretty much done. And I'm getting very slap happy. And I apologize for that. We still need to add some lights. See, I wanted to do like connect the lights from like the back two trees. Like as you can see, I'm trying to do, but at the same time, it just doesn't look right. So I think I'm just gonna add lights that just sit on the ground, you know, like, not solar lights, but like, you know, those. I don't know what to call them, but like, lights that just sit there on the ground. Maybe they're solar, I don't know. But I definitely want them at the trees in the backyard, and I definitely want them at the playground equipment in case kids are playing out at night. Safety first, kids, right? So that pretty much concludes my build. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out my list of failures for this build and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.